Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry about that. So today is actually Sunday night, but I just know tomorrow I, I worked a lot of my Christmas decorations this weekend, but tomorrow night I want to when I come home, I want to work on a little bit more for a few hours before I get back on YouTube and start uh, watching videos and commenting. So when I went in to uh, get washed up for bed tonight, I said, you know, I, I might as well just do my mask now tonight and uh, upload it tomorrow and then I can spend some more time decorating. As you can see, I got a couple of my nutcrackers up and I got one trunk empty this weekend. So I think I forgot if I got four, maybe four more to go. So anyway, let me get out of the way. So that's going to be one of my little nooks and crannies with some uh, some of my nutcrackers and i only got a couple more to go. But anyway, uh, just to do something different today, I am using um, another sheet face mask. I was going to try to look for a peel off one, but I didn't have any luck uh, seeing if I had any. But I'm using this one from Mally again. And um, it's a collagen one and I can leave this on for I think it's a 20 to 30 minutes so I'm good there and then I'm using um, the eye patches and I'm using this pure snail essence which sounds really creepy got this off Amazon and um, I'm not sure how many are in here there was 15 15 pairs in here so and I thought that was a good price I have got my new coffee cup. Oops, the wrong way. Warm and cozy from my Vine O wine box. Best box ever. If anybody knows any other good wine boxes like that, let me know. So I got my coffee, that's good. And so anyway, I just thought I would, you know, I've got all these empties that are building up on, the, on my counter in the kitchen. And every now and then, I just kind of go through and just uh, throw things out saying, oh, well, you know, didn't get around to it. It's cluttering up. So before I throw them out, I grabbed a couple. So let me put this down. I don't know how people get this part under the chin to stay. But anyway, so... Um, you know, and I've been doing these every Monday, but I keep throwing them out. But this is actually the one from last last Monday. And this was a royal jelly. Well, maybe it wasn't from last Monday. I forgot when it was, but a uh, royal jelly one. And I used the uh, Grace and Stella eye mask when I used this one. So I can throw that out now. And things that I finished. My empties. So I got this mirror ad. And it's a rapid collagen infusion. And I think I got this in one of my first Fab Fab Fit Fun boxes. So this was probably about two years old. And I, anyway, finally took it out and decided to use it. So I use this um, in the morning. Yeah, in the morning under, underneath my moisturizer. And it lasted quite a while. There was a lot in there. Um, so I'm not really sure if it did anything, but I was happy to use it, and maybe it did do something, and I just didn't know. This also, I, this might have been in my boxy charm. This was um, Cosmetics Pure C, and it's a powder, which isn't going to focus, but anyway, it was a powder, and um, so I always sprinkled this on um, with that. Um, Say when I went to put my moisturizer on after I did that collagen thing, I would uh, sprinkle some on the moisturizer and then put it on before I did my foundation. And then at night I would put this on with, um, I had retinol, which is also by Murad, which I probably, I started using them at the same time. So that one should be getting empty, but so it was the uh, companion to that, the retinol with the moisturizer and then that. So I would uh, use that. And again, it was supposed to be like brightening and I really don't know if it did or not, but I know one night um, I exfoliated and then I went to put on my moisturizer and stuff and I put that vitamin C on. Yeah, don't do that. It burns after you've exfoliated. So I'm learning things little by little. 
Alrighty, and then, and I have no idea when the last time I went to uh, Trader Joe's was. I think this was maybe two winters ago. And it was this hand cream that really, really smelled good. And, uh, yeah, I don't even think you can see the name anymore. But it was really, really hard to squeeze. And I remember when I did that um, unbagging when I came home from Trader Joe's. And I thought, well, maybe it's just frozen and that's why it's so hard to get out of here. No. Two years later, it was still just as hard. There is probably more in here if I wanted to play with it. But, yeah, I think I'm going to throw it out. That hurts. Alrighty. So I've got this Sustain Ultra Eye Drops. And I use this in primarily just that, that one, one drippy eye that I have. Um, when they took the tumor out um, behind my eye, I just created a lot of scar tissue. And any one that's probably had a lot of operations, I only had that one. But um, if you have operations, your body just automatically builds scar tissue. In fact, um, Rick had so many operations that he would, even if he didn't have to have a uh, another bypass or another stint put in, um, they would have to go in like every three months to get the uh, scar tissue out because it would uh, actually build up around the arteries and cut off his circulation. So they would do that as maintenance and sometimes we didn't make it that far and he would have to have another bypass, but that's another story. Alrighty, so this Nature Made DT3. So this is supposed to be like for hair, skin, and nails. And I put, um, and it's like these little vitamin, little capsules of things. So it's like an oil inside. So I got this, this is like my second bottle. And the first time I got it was like probably right around April. And when it ran out, I was like, wow, my, my nails are growing. My face looks good. And so I thought, oh, it's this stuff. So I bought more and yeah. And I think it was just because I was, it was right at the start of COVID when I was really washing my hands a lot and just constantly putting on hand lotion. I think that was why this looked good. And I started to do the face mask, so that was why my complexion looked good. So yeah, I'm not going to be replacing this one. Um, I know it's supposed to be good for you, so maybe if I see a different brand or something in the future, I might give it a try, but I won't be buying this one again. I finished this uh, Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, and I did like it. I think this came, I um, had got a compact from them that I really like, and I'm still using that, so it came with this, a lipstick, and that compact. Um, so if I got it in a compact, I mean, I liked it, but I've gotten a couple uh, mascaras lately since I've got into Ipsy and BoxyCharm, so I probably would not buy it again. And if I did buy it, I would probably wait to see if I could get it in an, like another deal on QVC where it comes with a compact and lipstick and things like that. All right. And like, um, oh, you haven't seen my video yet, but yeah, I could. Yeah. So on a Saturday for my blog, I, I was just having trouble. You, I couldn't get toilet paper to be delivered to the house. I couldn't get my secret deodorant. You couldn't do the uh, curbside pickup. You had to go into the store to get it. So anyway, this was actually part of a two pack. So when I start the second one, that's when I know to order another one. Yeah, so now I've got to go to the store and get it because they don't deliver deodorant to the house. And I went to Target on Saturday after work because I couldn't do the curbside pickup for toilet paper and I couldn't order it online at Target either. The store didn't have any either inside. So here I had to go into the store for nothing. That kind of bugged me. That uh, toilet paper is uh, getting out of stock again. So anyway, I haven't used this for a year. So anyway, I went downstairs the other day and... Uh, I used to always um, put my makeup on downstairs at my desk downstairs, and that way I was um, next to, to Rick's hospital bed. And um, so I put my makeup on down there. And I still got a lot of my makeup down there. So anyway, I went and I got this Bare Minerals one. And this was um, like a, a radiance. And it was really a nice, pretty shade. And so I took it up and I used it every day until I used the last of it. So get to throw that out and uh, when I go down for more nutcrackers, maybe I will go get another one. And uh, I, I get this, um, it works. Uh, I get a couple of different things from them every month. And sometimes depending on what I need, I just get different things. 
and I, I know I've got a backup of this already but this is my chocolate super greens and um, did I leave the scoop in there I did not but anyway it's empty so it is it's like so it's a, in a, it's a blend of like plants and vegetables and superfoods um, there oh, I can't read it but it's non GMO it's keto friendly it's soy free um, so it says that it um, uses the superfoods and it's got coral calcium it's got 74 um, trace minerals in it it's got calcium and magnesium and it's just um, for clean digestion digestion and helping your metabolism and so anyway I use a scoop of this in my protein shake every morning so I have a scoop of this in it and it, it has a nice it's not overpowering because I don't really like chocolate but I do have like um, the vanilla um, isogenics that I use for my protein shake so it just kind of neutralizes that chocolate for me and the other thing that I finished was uh, just celery also from it works and I have this in a glass, like an eight ounce glass of water every morning to start my day. And that's what it, it's, it's just celery. That says no sweeteners, there's no nothing. It's just like you are eating celery. It's a ground powder. I just put it with water and then I just kind of shake it up. And yeah, and this is, um, yeah. I mean, it just tastes like celery. It's nothing exciting, but it's supposed to like help balance, um, new metabolism and, um, and give you all the ingredients that you need to help your digestive system. Um, it's also non-GMO, it's keto friendly, uh, soy free. Um, and I don't do this every day because once I started taking this, my blood pressure went down and I used to have uh, really high blood pressure, uh, which I probably should have got checked, but you know, I didn't because I figured, well, I got enough to worry about once I can get Rick taken care of, then I will go to a doctor and handle my blood pressure but I never did and so this really helped because I was like I would be like 190 over 120 which yeah it wasn't healthy and um, some days with this um, my blood pressure just really goes really low um, so now I get like dizzy from it and I can actually like pass out and almost faint so on days that I know that my blood pressure is low like if it's um say like 98 over like 50 or something yeah I yeah I, I don't take this for a few days but so that one I just kind of take every every now and then I mean um, I like to start my day with it but on days that I just kind of feel a little dizzy or whatever then I know that my blood pressure is low so don't take it all right oil of Olay so I used to always use um, this uh, you know, whether it was Dove or Oil of Olay, something like that, like a moisturizing body soap. And I don't know, I just, it, it was just, you just put it on your scrunchie and you're good to go. And then I got into these handmade soaps. So this, uh, I probably, this has probably been sitting on my counter for a good three to four months. Yeah. And um, so I've been using like, um, I'm on my third bar of Sudsy. Um, one bar I threw out uh, because it just was too drying. The second bar was like, um, it was a little bit better, but it was still kind of drying. And now I'm on the third one, which it, to me, I, I still have to, when I get out of the shower, my skin just feels really uck. I, I need to put on Cetaphil right after my shower. So I'm not really, I'm not really happy how, with the, how that's, uh, I mean, it suds as you feel clean, but it's, it's very stripping for me. And I guess everybody's different, but um, I've been using like the Boodles, Doodles design her soaps and the hootie soaps that I have the hand soaps and yeah I love those I I can still you know if I got extra time or something at night I, I can put the cedar fill on after my shower just to kind of help lock in some moisture but I don't feel like if I'm rushed for time like I have to I feel like with those two my skin is soft and it's moisturized and clean so um, yeah so I'm having fun with that and I think that was just about everything that I had. I've got about 15 minutes left. I was going to go through and do some of my, my Scentsy Fall scents, but I think I will save that for another video. And I'm just going to kind of shut the um, camera off, and I will be back to take this mask off. And, you know, it's been a while, so I don't even... Did I say welcome, everybody? But anyway, it's Mask Monday. And I'm going to leave that hashtag Mask Monday, ladies, in my title. 
and all of us ladies that are doing this Mask Monday series, that way you can click on that hashtag type thing and um, get to meet us all and um, just maybe see the different types of mask everybody's using and what they like about it and just all kinds of good things like that. And I will be back in a few minutes, so um, I'll chat later. Alrighty, so you mix the timer. Also, Alexa, shut the timer off. So it's been about 30 minutes, so let's take everything off. And it's really dried up pretty good. And it feels really nice, and the mask helped keep these on. So let me just kind of pat. Oh, this is really moist. See if there's anything left in. That wasn't the one. Yeah, I'm dropping everything. Alrighty, let's see if we can squeeze anything else out of this. Alrighty, got a little bit here. Alrighty, so that was pretty much Mask Monday. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And yeah, so I'm, I mean, it's not like every day that I look in the mirror and I say, oh, this is really making a difference. But there are some days that after I, I mask or the next morning when I'm getting ready to put my makeup on, I can look in the mirror and I can see that my complexion does does look better. It looks healthy. It looks radiant and and, and I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's wishful thinking, but, you know, I do think there is something to this masking and just kind of getting my skin hydrated and, and getting it healthy again. And um, like I had mentioned in, in last week's that I think it's just all kind of tied together. It's, it's just not putting on the mask and, and that you need to, to drink water, you need to exercise, you need to eat healthy, and it's kind of all kind of helps and whatever, so... Because I'm not good all the time, and probably drinking all this coffee doesn't help. But, you know, I love it. So you have to do things that you love as well. But anyway, I want to thank you. And, and once this, uh, I'm just going to wait till this isn't so tacky. And then I've got my Lancer moisturizer and um, my, my Lancer under eye cream. So once this kind of settles in and dries and isn't so tacky, then I will put these on. But I want to thank everyone for joining me tonight. If you've used these... Uh, creepy looking snail essence. It says it's no animals were hurt, but I don't know how they get the, I don't know how they get, how they, they get it. So it says it's cruelty free. So I don't know. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. If you use those ones or, um, and if you're enjoying these mass Mondays and if you feel like your skin is benefiting from doing it as well. And, um, Yes, yeah, so I hope everyone goes out, has a great week. I want to thank everyone for joining me. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. And we will chat again soon. Bye-bye, everyone. I can never find the button.